Hey, good evening and welcome to the Westbrook Golf Club Building Use uh, Committee meeting called here on Monday, August 28th uh, at 6.30, being 6.43. We would call the meeting to order. And pursuant to Chapter 2 of the Acts of 2023, this meeting will be conducted in person and via remote means in accordance with applicable law. This means that members of the public body as well as members of the, of the public may access this meeting in person or via virtual means. In-person attendance will be at the location above, and it is possible that all um, members of the public body may attend remotely with in-person attendance consisting of members of the public. This meeting may be accessed remotely via Zoom, as highlighted on the screen here. Meeting ID 891-6241-6704. Passcode lowercase w, uppercase c, uppercase w, one, uppercase l, seven. Um, when required by law or allowed by the chair, persons wish to provide public comment or otherwise participate in the meeting may do so by in-person attendance or by accessing the meeting remotely, as noted. Additionally, the meeting will be broadcast live um, in real time via Verizon Channel 28 and Charter Channel 192, or via Westro TV's online platforms at westrotv.org and youtube.com slash westrotv. The meeting will be uh, recorded by Westro TV. So, thank you everybody for being here, and Matt and Christy online. Um, First agenda was meeting minutes from August 9th. Did we have those? I sent those. Yeah, I yeah, did. So okay. yeah. Folks have a chance to look at them? Yes. Yeah. 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 Any comments or corrections? If not, I'll make a motion for their approval. A motion to approve. A second. Moved and seconded. Um, all those in favor? I actually have to do it. Right. Roll call because we have people remote. So let's start here. Uh, Kirkland, yes. Weizmann, yes. White, yes. O'Day, yes. Shani, yes. Johnson, yes. Matt? Griffiths, yes. And Christy? She's, she's, she's on mute. Yes. Sorry. Well, yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you for that. Uh, next on our agenda um, was the, the vote on the committee recommendation. So I know Christy and I weren't able to attend the last meeting, so. Um, I think was this discussed at the last meeting and yeah. yeah, I think we felt that um the, just for the public sake more or less that the committee takes a vote on what our recommendation is so it's clear and in the minutes um on what we as a committee are recommending. So I think it should be pretty straightforward. So in the the last page of the presentation, I just put together something as a specific board just to kind of put something forward to monkey around with. Um, so Jen, I don't know if you can pull that yeah. up. Yeah, I'm doing right now. So by no means do we need to stick with any of this, but maybe you can at least get the conversation started. The only comment I would have on the first check mark utilizes the full potential comma but not limited to or are we seeking with the footprint? I meant that not necessarily not necessarily as the current footprint, but more in like if you have a seven thousand square foot building oh, by okay. footprint, let's use as much of you know, let's use the full two floors. Like I don't know what I can't remember the number now, but if we have a seven thousand it was but, was okay. mm -hmm. but the you know the second floor only takes up yeah. you know right. a, a small fraction of that. Of the full Let's footprint. Let's utilize of course, the of okay. full footprint. Right, and I don't think we can expand because oh, we're going to take the right. away from the golf course or the parking lot, which we don't have any option to do. Right. Okay. We don't want to do. Right. Okay. All right. Do you want? Should we just read it out loud? Do we read it out loud? So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. she's got it now. Both of you. Okay. I think, did we discuss also 
a simple bed. Have you got it? If we put your head, have you got the bottom of it? Yeah, there just, there she goes. Yeah, oh, here. Slide one of the feet, you just pull it along. Is that, oh, okay, it's bigger on yeah. there. Okay. Sorry, I'm really frazzled with the meeting. Can we just, uh, actually, before we hit that, I think the second page has the committee charge. Yes. The third page. So basically, again, committee charge was recommend whether or not the town should consider significant capital investment in the country club building, whether it be renovation or construction, identify expected use of building, considering the needs of the golf course, pro shop, and maintenance barn, specifically addressing the level of food service desired, consider other recreational uses or community needs that may be addressed by the building, and then make a recommendation to the select board. Um, which I think we changed that date, right? Well, that, that, that was, was a, like a five. Yeah, that was your date. It was a five October 1st, I think we were. Yeah. And do it. Um, so if we move forward to, Brian, we put on a recommendation, I guess. That's my the, two, the last page. Yeah, the last page. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I don't know. Right, we haven't answered this question. Right. I want to make sure we answer the question, but also I don't want to, I think we can make, to me, we, we make the recommendation based on what we were asked to do, and then I think we can make uh, further, recommendations. further recommendations or suggestions, knowing that I think the next steps would be for the board to accept this, probably form, I think that we talked about form now, a building committee right. to look at it and then put together an article for town meeting to look for money for design and, and whatnot. So I think we can give ideas, but I'm not sure that we want to say, I don't think we were asked to come up with what exactly the design, but I think we should make suggestions based on things we've heard mm -hmm. through the surveys and whatever. Yeah, so an official recommendation and then other suggestions based off of you know, what we've learned? Right. Okay. So should we make a motion to take a vote? Or can we can we just read them out? If you don't mind. Right, but I don't know. I think Ian's saying don't take it on that. Well, this is what we started it, with, but I think we can. We yeah. Can, yeah, I don't think we need a vote. I think we just need to change this and then make a motion okay. for what we want. So you want to break it basically down into answering the charge yeah. and then. Yeah, so our recommendation is to answer the charge of what we're presenting back, which is basically I think we started it, so our, I'm gonna just paraphrase it here and definitely folks jump in, but so I think the first part is correct, that we recommend the town take action to demolish the, the current structure and rebuild in its place a building that, um, so I don't like the footprint, I think that goes to suggestions, the second floor, I think it's, when we wrap up the restaurant space, I think right. we wanna say that it is a, um, that we we uh, put in this place a building that um, would be a restaurant open to the public, but also providing usage for the golf course or golf program, however we want to. So I think that's, that's the one, two, three, the fifth bullet down in the indoor outdoor space that's mm -hmm. made it golf club use for dining and close to socializing, the pro shop space, function rooms. I guess like the only these are more specifics. Yeah. You know, that Brian's laid out. The other one is just very high level, right? Very I wrote a very, 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 very high level recommendation out. So I don't know, but it's it's not detailed at all. But I said the recommendation is the Golf Building Use Committee recommends the following for the golf building located at 121 West Main Street. The committee recommends demolishing the current building and building a completely new building. The committee recommends the use of the building shall be a golf pro shop and restaurant with outdoor seating and function space. So that, that, that pretty much nails it. So, Sim simply put. But we can obviously. But I think that's good. I think, I think that's good for, as I think about it. Well, as a is kind of what the recommendation coming out of us, and then it's I think 
Thing. In addition to, and then they come in and said, you know, based on feedback, yeah. we want to provide the board again because we have the expertise because we've gone through all the server areas. Also, we've sat here, we've had discussions. So, the, to me, the suggestions, some suggestions that we would, you know, want to put on the record are, you know, utilizing the full potential of the footprint. Um, I guess I, the second floor function. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can decide to recommend that, but again, that's not our call to do it. Right, right. As I think about the second floor, while it might be nice, it also will be more yeah. costly if because you'd have to, I think, provide elevator access if you do that for handicap or accessibility. Or you could just say it has function rooms with views of the golf course. That's how I think function rooms, whatever. So, so you know. So just take it out second floor. That's what I'm thinking. I, I so, love the idea of a second floor, but it's just kind of what comes in that we can agree. afford. But we're just recommending, right? Yeah. So what if instead we say utilize the full potential of the footprint, mm -hmm. kind of to my point before about the full, the full potential of the footprint, including second floor space. And that's just open-ended, whatever yeah. happens up there. Because that's part of the footprint. Because yeah. it's part of the footprint. And then Take yeah. out second floor from the second check mark yeah. and say has function, function rooms, rooms with view of the golf course. Yeah. 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 It's fine. Has restaurant space so you can say first floor are there too. Has restaurant right. space and right. deck patio seating. Right, because who are we to say that someone wants to come in and design a second floor restaurant or whatever? Yeah. So that's not part of our job. Yeah, first floor restaurant. Yeah, definitely. And I think that we don't say where the golf and that's gonna be other stuff that comes in, so it has golf pro shop space that's equal to its current space. Right. both indoor and outdoor space. Um, I guess it's a question, do we designate it or do we just say no. provide? I don't think, because to me designate means that no one else can use it. Right. But I think it means that it's available. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's yeah. available, uh, for, available for golf club use for dining and post-game socializing. Mm -hmm. Or dining and socializing, whatever. Um, yeah, just dining and social instead. And again, I would just take basement off and just say golf, golf club storage, storage facilities yep. and yep. designated space for simulators. Can I add space. a check mark? Sure. Um, mm -hmm. As a recommendation to suggestion for recommendation. <laughs> a suggested recommendation. Um, something to the effect of uh, as a committee, we suggest that the building aesthetic keeps within the current downtown aesthetic, kind of like this big modern building all glass, I don't think fits into downtown. And we have this existing this historic old, let's just say old building. So, you know, again, answering to those people that wanted to keep the building, that were worried about the historic, keeping in line with the aesthetics of the downtown area, which is kind of this historic body. So, but that could just be the frontage too, though, right? You know, as long as the frontage is mansion. Yeah, that's it's just more about yeah. not. And haven't you ever gone through those old neighborhoods? And there's that one. Yes, yeah. yeah, yeah, committed. Yeah, I think that's going to be their yeah. decision, but I think we right. yeah, definitely it's get, our recommendation. And it's kind of I would utilize here. the full potential. Of the what? I see what you're trying to Oh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Can, can you say maintain the character of the street? There's a line. Yeah. There you Somebody. go. Nice. Look at how yeah. succinct yeah. she is. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, but in mind, it takes into account the aesthetics of the mm -hmm. downtown neighborhood, yeah. which it resides. But yeah, but I think Christie's was a bit more succinct. Right. But I think it gets the point you want. Yeah. Yeah. Long winded point. Mm -hmm. And Christie, leaning on your expertise here, Mine was purely a suggestion, but do you think the motion we talked about it just hits on kind of what the charge was for this committee? And then as we're talking here, also kind of the recommendations and suggestions based that we have in the fact that we've gone through all the survey results, we've had meetings, we've discussed this, we were the ones that have been Which is our most um, in tune with everything going on that makes sense from a the presentation back to the board. Yeah, I think Jen's motion is great, and 
we right. thought to kind of go back out to lease and reopen that, and that's how this whole process started. But I agree with you, Mike. I've heard the same thing. Yeah, you know? and again, perception is reality. Yeah, right? and the perception is that it, they were closed down, and now it's going to take. You know, now we've got basically you know a no-brainer recommendation to the select board and now we're going to wait another six months or whatever it is between yeah six months yeah. for the next select board and then it's going to be well now we're going to get another committee together and now we're going to get an, so you know we're going to put out money and we don't have so it three years before right. any building is even so at least, with the, at least with the library, you got a library that's standing there and they're, they're actually going to go through voice of the customer in September again so it's like they're churning through, and, and I, you know, and I love the library. Don't get me wrong, but it's very frustrating to watch them churning through, and then we're you know teed up to go, and it feels like we have to wait for them, right? Otherwise, it's competing, you know, for the town's you know funds, and so so that that's the unfortunate part. In the meantime, at least they have a library that's standing. We have we have a facility that's closed. And it's and just it's currently degrading. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and who knows what's going to happen. A potential yeah. revenue generating. Yes. Yeah. That's true. Christy has something. Christy has something. I, uh, I know that people are frustrated. I actually think it's incumbent on the members of this committee to really understand and be messaging out what happens um, and what all of that means. I mean, this is really significant damage done, frankly, by the restaurant tour. And so, um, you know, we had to want to spend all the time to fix a building that we knew really needed a lot more uh, work but I think bigger than that I, I don't I don't think that we're as ready to go as this committee is sort of feeling like we are I, I just I don't think I think that it feels very obvious to us and the, maybe the 1500 res respondents um, to the survey but I don't you know we heard from other people that we that they wanted this committee to consider community meeting space and other things and I'm, and I'm not saying that we didn't do that but this recommendation doesn't include that and so that's just an example of something that i think would really get hung up on um you know maybe maybe compromise um is to for this committee to recommend that the select board and town the town manager because i would appoint them create the building committee to begin the work of understanding how much it will cost to get do the design and things like that. And I'm not saying that we wait for the library, but I do think we need to be, um, you know, we need to be mindful of the fact, I mean, all that money comes from the same place. And so we need to be, at, at, you know, sort of thinking through the timing of it all. Can I do a co compromise too, Christian? I should be here. But I mean, I think that, I think the recommendation out of this committee should be that we recommend to the select board that that they move as quickly as possible in moving this forward to exactly the points we have that it's a you know building that's you know in disrepair right now but not being used i know we're tearing it down but you know so we recommend moving you know, yeah. three whatever. Years, three years of without generating any revenue. But it, for, for what it's worth, just because, just maybe, and I'm not trying, I agree that we want to move fast, but if we were to go to fault, we'd, ha we'd also have to go before the select board and then the advisory finance committee as well, I believe. Christy, jump in if I'm wrong. Yes. Yeah. And, ex and, and plead our case. And I'm only saying, actually, I've kind of learned the hard way with a few projects that I've been thinking, well, obviously, REC needs this, so everyone else will understand. And they come back with some, that's their job, some really you know tough questions that kind of I think what Christy was alluding to is that we feel super ready but we don't know necessarily what AFC is going to ask us and I think just giving us it sounds you know it might sound like oh we're just trying to delay or whatever but it, in that six months whether we create this building committee we'd be able to kind of really generate some good answers and some solid numbers because that's another thing too at least I, my experience is that you can't just go in and say oh we think maybe like 50 grand would be good they want to know where's that 50 grand going they want to see a quote and i don't know if we would have that and i think that's kind of what we're getting at so you're recommending then that a building committee would be formed or oh, i think that was what chris was and whatever and all, that, 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 all those numbers everything would be found out by this building committee I, 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 yeah, I think so. Well, for, I mean, that's the part that we'll need. I think Brian's suggestion was a number not to exceed, but I don't know that we know what that number is. And I don't think we can just guess either. Just you just don't want to get up there in front of AF Advisory Finance Committee. Um, you know, that's their job to ask questions and question right. everything. Yeah, and, um, 
you know, even at, at, on town meeting floor. That's just, just sort of my experience. Um, so I also think that it's not it's not entirely true that that building is just sitting there vacant, deteriorating. I mean, it's still being used as a, a pro shop oh, um, yeah. in the same yes. way that it has before. And yes. part of maybe part of the recommendation of this committee, in, in addition for the sort of more compromise, is that um, you know that the, the, the board work with the commission. I'm, I'm making it up as I say it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, to, to find ways to, to utilize the building, you know, in, in other ways in the meantime, and, and maybe in support of the golf course or, or something like that. Um, I don't know what that is, but maybe Matt and Jen do, or maybe they can think through that. But um, I, I just I just think that if we get up at town meeting and we say all of this, you know, we're 20, you know, 26 or 28 days away from the board having to close the warrant. And then only two weeks after that, and then in a presentation, and then we leave a couple weeks after that um, to socialize the concept. And it's, and it's a big, it's a big project. Yeah, so, yeah. so then what's the hand? So we finish, we do our recommendation, we give it to the select board, and we say, go with it. Now go find a building committee to make this happen. Is that basically? Yes. You know, we we go away, and then well, hopefully I, somebody takes it forward. Yeah, and, and I. And I so we've done, we yes. we done our due diligence, we did our We did all the work, we put it all out there. I think that's why coming up with what we want in this deck as to what we as a committee are making the recommendations of what we want to do. That's why I think that the compromise would be, I mean, the board would be the one that would have to put the warrant. You know, our thing is to request it to be done as quickly as possible, mm -hmm. um, you know, I know I was one of the ones banging the table to get this done as quickly as possible too, but in talking through it with Christy and then to what Jen said, I should probably know that too because when you do go and prepare to town meeting, the likelihood is that you will get defeated. And that'd be the worst thing um, that could happen here. And I'm not saying that we would, but I think, you know, I think to me coming out of this, we make a recommendation, our recommendation is to move forward as quickly as possible. To me, that means, again, Christy will shoot me daggers looking through the screen here, is the latest it would go would be March. Um, if something comes up and the board has a, needs to call a special town meeting before that time frame, and probably unlikely that that would happen, but I mean, by not saying go to March, I think it says go as quickly as possible. I think that the part of the problem is, is that the general public doesn't understand the finance committee and all of that, that it has to go forth and all the questions. So all the feedback we're getting is, this is already taking a long time. Why is it taking so long? So perhaps as part of the presentation or whatever, that can all be explained, right. that it's not possible to go forward in the fall meeting, because everyone that you talk to is like, okay, we're ready to vote for this in the fall. They don't understand the finance committee has questions and where are we getting our numbers? Well, why can't? Because if you work in a business, you can move right. things along much quicker. Right, and, and then the town has to appropriate. And the town has to appropriate money, and then, yes, what are the estimates? It's not a huge project like the library was, it's much kind of much smaller scale, but in, I guess in order to appropriate any money, which what is it, 10% usually to hire somebody, we'd have to know what that total cost is to get yeah. appropriate to 10%. Well, I think that, it, well, it's not, I absolutely agree, it's not as complex. I think the one thing that was in here under the Cipri Keys piece is that the recommendations, I think, was a, one we should also put in our recommendation and said, you know, for the building committee to oh, consider the use of an architect that golf for golf architect. and restaurant right. use. Yeah. I and mean, that was stuck in my head as the one thing he said. Yeah, if you do this over again, he would do that because their setup is not, not ideal, ideal right. from kitchen and all that piece. Okay, we understand. We don't like it, but we understand. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I don't like it either because I, I was one of the ones banging the table to move it forward, but I do yeah. think it makes sense. But, um, but I do think we can put in there, and Christy helped out there. I think I had put that we recommend the select board moves forward as quickly as possible with you know the next stages of the project. We recommend that the town manager uh, moves forward quickly with appointing a building committee mm -hmm. um, to prepare for 
a warrant at the next yeah. uh, meeting. Okay. Yeah, and I think you know, I think I think that makes sense, and I think that um, you know, if this committee feels strongly about you know potential member, I know you're talking about designers, and, and that's obviously not a member of the committee, but if you feel strongly about you know folks who might be on that committee, like. Um, I think you can make that suggestion too in the motion. So if we feel like there should be someone from this committee or there should be someone who's a member of the golf club, I mean, all of those things are sort of obvious, but I think it's fair if we say something, say things like that and put it out there. My apologies. Matt, any comments on your side, either what we talked about, but also are we missing anything from your perspective in what we've talked about recommendations? Uh, no, I mean, I think everything pretty much covers it. I mean, there, I mean, there's a lot to talk about operationally once we get to that portion, uh, but to where this, you know, this committee and our recommendation is those conversations are much longer down the road. You know, as just a day-to-day -day operation issue and how we're going to move things around. But other than you know, kind of deciding about the building, I you know, I, I agree with everything that has been said. Okay. Yeah. And, and nothing else to add in terms of the pieces here about the golf pro shop being at least equal to current space. The... I definitely would, wouldn't talk about anything about multiple mm -hmm. Yeah. That you know you, you want to you want to make any kind of recommendation as as you know as simple but precise as you can, and that's why I, I really liked uh, uh, Jen's uh, recommendation when she read it. I thought that was that was pretty spot on. Okay. What else? And we'll go into a vote. I think on motion mm -hmm. first, and then. You have a question on the motion. You want to read it again? Um, sure. Uh, so the recommendation is the golf building use committee recommends the following for the golf building located at 121 West Main Street. The committee recommends demolishing the current building and building a completely new building. The committee recommends the use of the building shall be a golf pro shop and restaurant with outdoor seating and function space. Building to I know, I thought I said building a lot of times. Right. Maybe you said change the building, which is the actual fake, uh, where you say building a building, maybe the constructing? Yes, in constructing a completely new, what's that word, building? Facility? 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 Yeah, yeah. There it is. Okay. Yeah. Throw a suggestion in with people that I think from the restaurant standpoint that we say public. Mm -hmm. restaurant, yeah. just so there's no confusion yeah. that it's yeah. public year round. Yeah. 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 Public public year year. So it's not a just a, a right. restaurant for the golf course. Yeah, they do. Because we heard that a lot of clear from yeah. folks too. Yeah. Year round, include that one for the Yeah, year round. Yeah. And then I think the right then that some of the stuff here about the Change available the space thing. for the golf course and for things follows along after that recommendation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, so we have a motion as read. Yes. Yes. So moved. Okay. Uh, make a motion to accept. Oh, he made it. So he made it. Yeah. Second. Okay. Yay. Any further discussion? Okay, we'll go around the room with a roll call vote. Um, Kirkland, yes. Weitzman, yes. White, yes. O'Day, yes. Shelly, yes. Johnson, yes. Griffith, yes. Williams, yes. Okay, it's unanimous. Thank you, guys. Um, so I think our next was. Can I just, yeah. Sorry, Jen, can you make a correction? Mm -hmm. Since you have. Yes, <laughs> yeah. You've got written down if you can just yep. substitute that. Yes, I will. And I'll send it to helps. you, yeah, for our yeah. yeah. Um, Thank you everyone for that. Um, we've already started this, but the discussion draft presentation to the board, do we want to go back to the beginning? Do you want to take us through it? Or? Sure. I think it's pretty, you know, fairly straightforward. Uh, so I guess we could probably kind of skip to four, since we've already looked at the others. Mm -hmm. um, 
So I just kind of took through the process of, of what we've tried to do as a committee. So it is out there, um, and what we've gone through to, to get to our recommendation. Um, so I don't know if anybody wants to kind of go through the bullets. Anybody have any recommendations, changes, deletions? Hyphenate input. Make a lot yeah. more. Oh. <laughs> oh, one word. Yeah, one word. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I want to bring my English. So I think um, the fourth one is just um, produce, produce a sur a month long survey. It sounds like it could, right. was a month long. It, so it was yeah. open for a month. Sure. But it's yeah. a, produce. produce a survey so you can so you can paint from the community including um, somehow get the month along but not in front of the survey. Right. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. But I think the month, the space was survey, open. Produce the survey open for one yeah. month. Yeah, produce the survey open. You could have produced a, a survey with a month long duration. Something like that, yeah. So right. I think everything else was fine. Maybe you have to even put that in there. Mm -hmm. month long. Yeah. If it says, yeah, people have enough time to respond. Discuss the building condition report with. What? Yeah. Yeah. Right. With, right. Looks great. Yeah, there was. Okay. Uh, then I just made some, next page, uh, I just made some notes, um, you know, given just a little bit of information about the building. Um, you know, I think a lot of people think it's probably a lot older than it is. Um, so I thought it was important to kind of give a little bit of historical background there. Um, you know, that there is, as far as anybody can tell, no historical significance. Um, yeah, I would reword that. Okay. Just because we didn't talk to the historical commission, some people will get Right. But somehow just say, yeah, I think the way you just worded it, Brian, was kind of the way that and we were discussing a little bit earlier that, that um, it's been somehow that, it, from our views, not a lot of historical elements, elements remain. remain. Yeah. That's okay. that sounds good. Minimal historical elements yeah. appear to remain intact. Mm -hmm. Because then it goes into the next one of why that is. It's because the building has been, um, I think a word than bastardized, but it's been. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many changes That's to it. Word. Yeah. Mayor Mimos is the porch, but the porch was never part of the original right. structure. And you can tell when you, when yeah. we looked at it, you can tell that the porch is new. The pro shop has been redone. So there's a lot of things that have been changed. And the stuff that hasn't was stuff that probably should have been, like the basement. And Ryan, somewhere in here, did you, uh, I don't remember, uh, you noted that um, right, the modifications were made not according to the code, not like commercial code, but to residential code, right? Uh, so it's never been brought up to commercial code. Oh, Christy's um, here. Okay, go ahead. Uh, sorry, I just wanted to add, so, um, so I don't think that, I've, uh, this came up yet, but there was a, when we purchased that property, there was a restriction on the use of the property um, related to the grant funds. So it has, so I can send this along to be added. It doesn't, it doesn't impact, I think, what we want to do, but it just doesn't have to be used for other recreation uses. And so I think that's important. All right, that'd be great. That's why we need an outdoor deck. <laughs> that's our creation. Yeah. <laughs> The building does, Christy, or the property? Must be the property. The, the property. Okay. But that's inclusive of the building, so. Right, perfect. I mean, obviously we have the, the restaurant, but we can, there might be something we want to pull from here just so that folks don't feel like it's an option for something completely different. Like housing community. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. So the, the next page was just kind of, I went through the whole uh, assessment Obviously, it's pretty long, so I'm just trying to pull out some kind of bullets or nuggets in here just to kind of paint a picture of how bad things really are. Um, you know, whether it's the asbestos, the lead paint, the 
significant fire and safety hazards, um, et cetera. Yeah. So I don't know if anybody um, remembers going through. Yeah. Well, yeah. And yeah. remembers some of the you know actual bullets that we want to add to that from the report. Maybe what you said, Terry, about it not being up to code. But I think that's right. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. well yeah. we're saying not up to code. It just says. Address our okay. violation. Yeah, violation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Which the fifth you? bullet on numerous. Yeah. Numerous. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What about ADA compliance? You could yeah. probably just add an ADA, right? That Building, line. comma, safety codes, comma, ADA. Mm -hmm. I think I mean, this, there's more in there, as you said, Brian, but this is yeah, a lot of that. Like, they keep going if yeah, they want, but it's... Yeah. No, I, I mean, I didn't want to, you know, just continually throw all these things in, but... Um, these are the big ones. There, yeah. there's, I mean, it goes on to a second page. Right. There's you know, 24 line items are labeled immediate, um, emerging conditions, 13 medium. Uh, and then I kind of added it up to immediate repairs, total 904,000, yeah. inclusive as accessibilities. Um, and of course, the estimate does not take into account anything uncovered that is not visible. Because I wanted to kind of put out there that if, if this is a visual, you know, yeah. nobody nobody opened any locks. Nobody opened and, anything right. up. And then a link to the actual report. Great, great. Um, but isn't this where also he talked about the one for one replacement? That, that nine hundred thousand. Remember that only covers. That covers well, yeah, so as it, it is does not represent total construction, repair, or design fees. Um, so we can add in. I think we need to talk to it. I mean, to okay. yeah. Yeah. talk to it. Sure. And you can, I'm sorry. That, was, that, that really a step was, you know, was important to me. Like, oh, you, you know, they just said if we were to update the kitchen, that's. I love that analogy, just re-listening to it, doing the minutes. I think that yeah. whoever, you know, when you present, just saying, you know, when you redo your kitchen, yeah. you know, it's the stove for the stove, this, yeah, possibly whatever. Yeah, this small little kitchen yeah. in the center of the right. house. That wasn't remodeling anything. Right, it was just right. Keeping it as is. Exactly. Okay. I like uh, then I put in a few bullets about our initial walkthrough, and it included also a link to the YouTube walkthrough. Yeah, that's great. How long is that? A couple minutes. Three minutes. Two minutes. Yeah, you can show the during the select board meeting too. Sure. So the link, click onto it. For the slack book, but also the public to see right. as well. I think that's it. Yeah. Uh, I think we don't have to click through the whole book, but from the prior page. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can do the cold page box area. area. Yeah, exactly. yeah, the electrical wires yes. hanging down. Uh, the next section, I actually had a, a firewall tech issue, so I couldn't actually put the survey results in. Uh, but we're going to get those added kind of graphically, um, okay. not a page for each one, you know, just kind of to gloss over just to have them in there. Right. Um, and then I just pulled out completely randomly. I just wanted to find some survey result comments that kind of, I, I thought, captured the gist of what everybody was saying. Um, so if anybody had any that particularly stuck out to them, I'd be happy to add or replace. I think you hit it pretty good. I think mm -hmm. it's, it's a Good yeah. cross section of what we got. It's not all. I agree. Right. Um, and then I just took from my notes uh, input from Cyprian Keys and kind of what they had gone through. And I think that it does, you know, will fur further verbalize the utilizing a, an architect that uh, specialize in club space and restaurants. Mm -hmm. Just so that it's just checking the Cyprian keys, it's A D Y E S. Okay, thank you. Um, then just a couple bullets from the my notes from the DPW meeting. You know, they were pretty blunt and clear. <laughs> yeah, they were very So I, I didn't think it was much we needed to. To, uh, um, and then just the committee considerations. That, this one I definitely uh, would love to take input. What I want to do is, I know that some people are saying, "Oh, well, you know, it should be there should be town meeting space and there should be other you know other things." 
I want to kind of impart to people that we did talk about that, we did take that into consideration, but there are, you know, when as soon as you mention parking, a lot of people go, oh yeah, you're right, you can't, you, you know, you, you can't have a 300 person function room because right. especially during golf, you absolutely can't park them. Mm -hmm. um, so any input on this one, this was kind of my tougher one to, to throw together. The one on my screen is oh. for BBW. Is that the one? No, sorry. sorry. Yeah, so we, we did talk about, I think, especially when we were talking about rec space, yeah. you know, we talked about that there are other buildings that you know, could be utilized and that parking would be difficult. And, um, Do we want to maybe um, under other available town buildings and resources, maybe in parentheses or a sub? bullet indicating some of the other buildings that, like I think we mentioned the Harvey building, you know, some of the other available spaces sure. so that they know that that's what's in our minds. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, sorry, I didn't hear that last time, but I might not, you might not hear too that a few years ago the there was a committee that was considering kind of what we were going to do with the golf course, so the committee made a decision a few years ago to um, to move forward to keep the golf course as a community asset. So I think that that's uh, important in terms of like, what the building is going to do and what it needs to support. So do you want to add that on there, or what? Do you Right, so my, yeah. my point is that the, the golf course as a whole, has, the, the town's already, I mean, maybe it's not the right spot for it, but I, my point is just that the golf course as a whole was reviewed as to whether or not we would continue to keep it as a town asset. And that committee, I think in 2016, decided to do that. Um, so so the, well, the building needs to continue to support that. Yeah, right. yeah, so, yeah that's, that's important. So. That's important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, the fourth book, community input, what, what do you mean by that? I just went from everything we've been hearing around, you know, besides the the survey, everything that you hear. Okay. Nice. So we heard community input. Yes. Yeah, yeah I think it's good because that's going to lead into our motion, but also the recommendations about moving quickly and all that stuff. Yeah. Actually, the potential to mitigate, so I know it's generated to cover the expense, potential to mitigate. I guess that's a double L. Yeah. Yeah. Is it potential yeah. mitigate cost by generating revenue? Yeah. To cover yeah. the expense? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That makes some sense. Yeah, that's better. So then I think here we would do kind of what the committee's official motion was, and then right. it's, and nice. this page comes in as it appears. Further, we further, further recommend. We further recommend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And we kind of went over all this. Should we go over it again, or are we clear? I thought it was pretty clear. Okay. And you got the additional yeah. inputs that we thought Right. Great. Really nice job. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks for doing Thank you. Um, That's what we have. <laughs> <laughs> now the work just be done. Now I have to update. Drop it. Yeah. 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 Um, we'll be calling you up every month saying, where is it, Ian? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we discussed, the next thing on our agenda was to discuss fall town meeting more in our which we already did. But I guess staying on this, so next steps will be to make updates here, mm -hmm. um, links, and review, graphics. Get, add graphics. 
our next then review at our next meeting to finalize right. for the presentation to the board. And when is that presentation? Did we decide? When the final meeting in September? Yeah, it's the second meeting in September, Christy, is that correct? I think we wanted to did we want to do the first to make sure that well, it was only to go for us okay. if we were going to. Okay. Yeah. So the 26th of the year, right. the last meeting, the last select board meeting in September the 26th. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 so that'll be the one. Yeah, when is our next meeting? We have another meeting scheduled. Yeah, but only do we have one now. We, have one. Yeah, we, we should, it's to review the, to review the changes. Yeah, I think we should have one more meeting to review the changes and then nominate who's going to present it, which I think we'll put in the since you did all the work, yeah. That's the 26th? Correct. Yeah. I think I'm here. So should we figure out what six of the meeting is? Yeah. And once we have kind of a final put together, I'll I can email that out, right? That's yeah, be, it can be emailed out to the committee. Out. Just people can't comment back. I mean, you can comment if there's a grammatical, if there's like grammatical, but mm -hmm. anything of substance can't be. Okay. It has to be discussed in the meeting. Okay. Um, so, how much time do you need to? Do you want to meet in two weeks, like the week of the eleventh? case other changes have to be made. I mean, the agenda is really just to go over the presentation, so it yeah. should be it's really quick. Meeting. I mean, if no one has comments, do we need a meeting? Do we have to, do we have to go to I don't know if we have to vote. I don't, I don't know. I mean, it's up to the group. Just Can we make changes? Email it out, and then if anybody has comments, then we have to have a meeting. We can't really vote on it, though, so. No, I think she's saying like if once everyone sees it and someone says, yeah, I think we need to meet, discuss it. Is that what you're saying, Mark? Yes. So then I went. Like, kind of, is that how you kind of Like, oh, then when, what's the thing? Kind of I have to post it. All right, you know, my struggles with posting a meeting with If you post it and we don't need it, is that a problem? Uh, no, we could cancel it. That's true. So we, so we put it just a placeholder down? But if yeah. there's no comments, then we don't need to meet. Just go ahead. Because we don't have to vote on it, right? All right, meet. Week of the 11th? Yeah. That's so that gives you an next, next week to uh, work on it? Yeah. Okay. Is that okay? Is that enough time? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, the 12th is a select board meeting. It's a select board meeting. Mm -hmm. 13th, one thing. 13th, can you do that? Yeah. We can meet in what does it? Well, yeah, sure. Six, seven, yeah. Well, the 13th? I know. You're the Brian, can you meet the uh, Wednesday the 13th, I'm good. Okay, okay. okay. do it then. Six, thirty. Christian Matt, does that work Wednesday the 13th? Uh, yeah, it should be. That should be good. She's shaking her head. Okay. Yeah. So I'll post that. Real. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's what I wanted to give you one more chance. I'm really, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the the one time I don't want to be a secretary. I, I really, you caught, you called me right <laughs> out. Um, so I'll post it, but then if we all feel the slides are fine, then we'll just cancel it. Sounds good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're kind of unofficially saying that Brian will present just in case we don't need. Do you want someone to join you? Yeah, if everybody wants to join me, that's fine. I'll for sure come. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Please yeah. Help? I'll stand up there with you. Right. Yeah. Sure. You'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. Uh, sure. Okay. That's good. You lead and then, yeah. I'll be like, yeah. And, well, I mean, hopefully, <laughs> I mean, the, the goal will be if all the committee can be there, so hopefully you guys can make yeah. the meeting. Yeah, yeah. We'll be there. Yeah. What day is the meeting? What day is the time? It's Tuesday. 26th. The 26th. Well, and will we be given the time it's on the agenda? Oh, we just until like yeah. Yeah. Four. Um, right. So the select board meetings from six to seven on um, Tuesday the twenty sixth. Well, yeah, we don't know what time well, our item would be on. Right. My husband isn't on slow that week. Um. Okay. I'll have a kind of babysitter. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
If you can't, no worries. Yeah, there's nothing. Nobody wants to hear your kids. I have. Yeah, Chrissy, I think if we can look, if we can. If you can't, no worries. The time to get it on earlier in the agenda. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we can try. We we try to put um we try to put all the items that have people um you know from other committees or whatever up early, so we we would try to put it early. But the only thing is, if we have to have any public hearings, typically they mm -hmm. need to schedule those. So okay. we'll try uh, to get. We might, there could be depending on what happens on the twelfth with the police chief. Um, there could be an item that pushes us to six thirty. So, but. Okay. I think I've been in that session before. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, so we should see you on the 13th, maybe. Okay. Unless you can. The 12th. Awesome. All right. Um, we have to yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? I'm good here. Chris, anything else on your side? No. From the room? No. No, thank you. Motion cool. to adjourn. Second. Okay. Roll call vote. Kirkland, yes. Nixon, yes. Boyd, yes. Okay, yes. Shana, yes. Johnson, yes. Perfect, yes. Williams, yes. Great. Well, thank you very much, everybody. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. TV. Thank you. Mm -hmm.